Boat Show TV back to you with another manufacturer sponsor feature here. Cigarette Racing Team, I'm with the man himself, Skip Braver, at the factory here in Opalaka. Skip, the factory looks fantastic. I'm not sure how long it's been since I've been here because every time I come here, something has changed. In this case, it's the front lobby, which has always been spectacular, but new pictures, a new look, some cool lighting. It always looks great when you walk in. our product lighting changes, we change the lobby. This is the beginning of your customers experience. So welcome to Cigarette. We'll walk you around and you'll see the cigarette experience and you'll have a good day today. Well we've made our way upstairs here Skip to your design center which is kind of cool because people can stand in this room and first of all look out over assembly and rigging and you got a lot of stuff going on here today. You got a lot of people in this room too. Well, I'll tell you the neat part is that people come in they pick out their own components. We design the entire boat but the whole time they're here it's the energy. They're seeing boats being mailed and they start to picture their boat, what it's gonna look like being built. The boats, by the time they get here, are about three, four weeks from being delivery. But they see a lot of other ideas of people's boats, they see people making the interior, they see people testing, and sure. it's, it's just the energy and the vibe. In this room, you pretty much have all of the fabrics, you've got all of the color combinations, dashes, components, uh, you can design the entire interior and exterior of the boat, and you can actually touch and feel all of the components here in this room. You can, and the neat part about a cigarette is we don't have a lot of options. It's not in here to step people up, you know, now get this, get this. This is what's included in the cigarette. And there's a vast wealth of materials. Sure. And people, if they want certain personalization, we can do that. But 95% of the people find everything they want just in these walls. And then uh, from the interior, they can go to the exterior and they can get on the computer and look at color combinations and graphics packages and essentially design a one-off cigarette that nobody else has. Well, that's our whole idea. We don't, there's no two cigarettes identically alike. Right. Everybody has their own signature and it's the, the fun of building it and it's the build. We have more customers, I swear, that get more excited about the build even when they're using the boats. It's the fun of building it, going down to the embroidery, picking out the thread but not having someone has to send it out and then send it back to them. We're looking out here and they see we're doing it now. We can go down to upholstery and if someone wants to see where the stitch pattern is, they want to change from what over there, we can run it on the machine. Well, you know, you talk about all these building and people that are out in your shop and people building boats. There's boats being built right now out in the factory. So what do you say we wander out into the factory and do a walkthrough and you can show us some of the boats that are currently being built. Great. Okay, Skip, we've gone from the front lobby up to the design center. Now we're up in, I think, one of my favorite rooms. It's the finishing room, rigging and assembly. A lot of finished, brand new boats here getting ready to roll out. Yeah, these boats are here. This is probably the last three weeks of their life at Cigarette. And if you walk behind that, you're going to see some boats that are going to be coming to our poker run in Key West. And yeah, I noticed, Skip, that you have obviously a lot of center consoles. It's no secret that Cigarette has taken the lead in coming up with new center console designs, but also the performance boats are coming back. We're still a performance boat company, and you'll be impressed to see what we're building over there. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Skip, I think it's appropriate that you brought me over to this 42, which is being rigged with 1350s, and you're telling me we're less than a week away from the Key West Poker Run, and you're telling me this is going to be on the Poker Run. Yeah, it's going to be on the Poker Run, and I want you to take a picture of Danny, because if it's not on the Poker Run, you won't see him next year. <laughs> so that's enough pressure for you? That's well, a little bit of pressure. That's a little bit of pressure. But we can take care of it. Not a problem. Danny Inclan, uh, production supervisor here, he's got a crew working, one down here, one in the engine room, and the 1350s are installed, but the cockpit is not installed. So we still have, a, what, another uh, couple of late shifts? Uh, absolutely. We'll be here, but we'll get her done. Well, that's it. All done. Nothing to worry about, right, Danny? Nothing to worry about. Just goes to show you that cigarette team is very, very busy here at Cigarette Racing putting together boats for the poker run. And I understand this isn't the only one. There's still a couple others that are not quite finished that are also coming. Well, they're a little closer, but they'll be there. The Marauder 50. You went for years without building one, and now I've seen three or four in the last couple years. Performance boating is coming back. It's what you and I started it. I mean, Cigarette got killed on the internet and that when I made a center console. Sure. We've dominated the center console business, and we continue to dominate the V-bottom business. And this is going to be in the Miami Boat Show. This is going to be a 50, 1550, 1350 boat. As you can see, it's sleek, cool, perfect, 
and we're real excited that we're still making these. I know that Eric Christensen and the guys at Mercury Racing will be happy that I would give them a little plug here, but can we attribute a lot of the success with bringing the performance boats back to these new power plants from Mercury Racing? Absolutely. They're more trouble-free than, than anything. They're not as trouble-free as an outboard, obviously, sure. but for a performance boat, stop and think, 1,550 horsepower. That's amazing. Okay, 1350 and pump gas. I mean, it's amazing. And Mercury stands behind it. That's why they're our partners, and that's why you look around this whole plant, you only see Mercury engines here. There's a reason. We're going to take uh, one quick look at the factory here uh, today, Skip. Let's wander out and see what we've got in production as we speak. So what's important here is that during the construction of the boat, you've got like three major pieces, you know, the hull and the inner liner and then the deck that put the boat together, but then you've got dozens of small parts here, so we've got a whole place. 60 molds in some boats, and you take a look at the lighting, take a look how it's still done by hand. Everything here has to be done perfect. If it's not done perfect here, then we have hours in finishing. That's added weight, that's added problems, it's added costs. So there's no chopper guns in here. These are all laid up by hand. This is why we're making some hatches. And this is part of the problem of building the boats today, getting them perfect in all the molds. The center console boats have so many individual parts. Right. People think they're easier to build. They're not easier to build, they're harder to build. And it's all the different parts. And again, the lighting and what we do and the equipment you use is what makes them perfect. Skip, we made it into this uh, room. What do you call it? They're, they're cleaning and they're polishing the bottom of the boat. This is so. just polishing. This is getting ready. This is one of the boats going in the poker run. Make the bottom perfect. Make sure there's no imperfections. And no make it nits. super shiny and super slippery so they can go fast, right? That's right. 